Thank you very much, Brittany. Well, you know, a lot of us are familiar with the social awkwardness of not having a significant other this time of year. We've all been through it. Talking about holiday parties and other events like New Year's Eve. Question is, how do you handle the holidays as a single? We have Michael Lindstrom, who is a life coach and dating and relationship expert, joining us this morning. morning to help single folks out there. And I like the title here. <laughs> Jingle when you're single. Jingle when you're single. It's the holiday season. You got to go out there and do it when you're single. Just <laughs> like everybody else. And it is a tough time. I mean, I don't mean to put Javier under the bus there, but Javier, <laughs> no, sure, right? I'm I mean, sure. sometimes you're like, yeah, I'm going to this party. I don't know if I should bring a date. Well, you know, it's always a tough decision, but then you have to ask yourself, do I even want a date right. there or do I not want a date? I mean, it's right. really, That's it's, it's an important true. question. You have to make so, that where decision. do you start? I think number one is that there's. Uh, there's an attitude issue. You, know, you have to embrace it. If you're single, big deal. You just got a divorce. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's an emotional time, but when you wear it on your sleeve, people, people can sense a negative energy mm -hmm. when you carry it around. So, you know, we teach people to act as if. Just go out there and act as if you're having a good time, put a smile on your face, how you carry yourself, and people pick up on that. So embrace being single. Now, this day and age, internet dating, a right. lot of that stuff, how do people, I guess, prepare themselves for the holidays during internet dating time? You know, I think one of the biggest strategies I like to teach during this time is what I call the FOF strategy, friends of friends. You know, use social media ah. to your advantage. You can go on there and go on Facebook and see who your friends are connected to. You can go on Twitter and see, you know, who's out there and who might be in the same situation. You'd be surprised for every person that's single, there's another married couple out there that's not happy. So there's a lot of single people just like you. If you want to go out there and have fun, you just got to get out there and make it happen with your friends. And I think it's important for folks to remember, don't be ashamed. It's okay. No, no, no. There's a lot of single, a lot people. Of single people. Before we get married, we're still single. It's especially here in this town. you got to go. And, 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 <laughs> and before, we get good single, before we get married, we're single. <laughs> and getting those single people together and going out and having fun. I, we, we teach us one strategy called the magnet strategy. You get four or five friends that are okay. in the same situation. Go out to a fun place and you just go out there. You look great. You look sexy. You look fun. You smile and you just go out there and you watch what happens. You see the whole energy start to go to that group. So it's all about how you carry yourself, not just by yourself, but with the group. Javier knows what that feels like. That's, now, uh, know that's for true. those on possibly a first date yeah. or maybe your first two dates and stuff, mm -hmm. a big event like New Year's Eve, do you take them? Do you not take them? You know, that's a, that's a tough call. I always say go with your gut. You know, your gut's going to tell you the right answer. I don't think there's a there's a carte blanche rule on that, but I think the more that you have a mindset of, you know, is this going to be the person I'm going to be with for the next year? If that's not the attitude and you just want to go have fun, then by all means. All right, talking about, you're talking about the positive energy. Right. Does the negative energy really push people oh, away? Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you, from a, from a man's perspective, when I walk into a, a restaurant or even like a New Year's party, mm -hmm. you can just sense the people that have, they're carried on their sleeves. They're the kind of person that's going to tell you everything that's wrong right within the fir first five minutes. They're going to tell you they're divorced in the first one minute that you meet them. Oh. You can't do that. you got to go out there and you got to focus on yourself and what's great about yourself. And, and when you exude that because it's in your mind, it's going to come out through your behavior. All right. All right. You also make the suggestion, I like this, of becoming a cruise director. Talk about yeah, that and why that can help a single person. I think of there. like the social nucleus. And when you're, everybody wants to be the connected to the people that know everybody. I call them the connectors. If you're the person that brings everybody out, everybody wants to know who you are, everybody wants to be around you. So when you can play that role, it's going to attract more people to you, male and female. It doesn't matter. Captain Stubing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Captain Javier. Yeah, I was going to say, being the life of the party, Javier knows about that. <laughs> I, I've, I've seen people do it. I've seen people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, he definitely doesn't need uh, advice on being single because he's embracing it and enjoys it. I know that. Thanks, Tess. I'm saying it in a good Thanks. way. <laughs> Throw my business all out in the street. Thanks, Tess. So, Mike, that's what you do. You help folks out there, that's whether right. it's it's um, being single, being in a relationship, that's what you do. Think of it this way. Have you ever seen the movie Hitch? You know, yes. That's what <gasps> people, and I, have a, I maintain a confidence You're Will Smith? Yeah, I mean, people call me up and I literally show them how to do it. Male and female, I take them out on Friday or Saturday nights and I go to functions with them. It make them interact with people, it's completely confidential and I want to make sure that people have a paradigm that they can go from, from there moving forward. But you gotta go out there and sometimes show people the ropes. And, and people don't realize how simple it is. It's just simple. putting yourself out there and having everyday conversation. The first part of it is just getting out of your comfort zone. I mean, yeah, it's uncomfortable to go introduce yourself to somebody, but it's one of the easiest ways to meet somebody. Just put out your hand in our country and say, how you doing, my name's Mike. People will shake your hand back and say their name, but it's uncomfortable for a lot of people. All right, so how do you make sure they call? 
How do you make sure they call after that handshake? Close the deal. How do you close the deal, Mike? deal? I, the number one way I'd say is you got to get people to start talking about themselves. Don't talk about yourself all the time and how great you are. If you can sit there and listen literally 90% of the time, that person's going to walk away and feel like, wow, I really connected with that person. When in reality, you know, they know nothing about you. You just sat there uh, talked about yourself the whole time. That's what's going to walk away and leave that memory. It's not about what you say. It's how they feel when they walk it's away. It's how you make them feel, yeah, right? absolutely. And make sure you ask about them as well. Of course. All uh, right, and of then course. keep the dance step right in here. <laughs> Right here. Right here. Right here. <laughs> Mike Lindstrom is his name. If you need some help and some tips on dating out there, having problems with your relationship, definitely contact him. All this information on azfamily.com. Thank you. I mean, you're on CNN. You've been on the Today Show, and you choose to be with us. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'd, I told the people I had to come over here and see Tess and Javier. So. Said Larry, Larry King. No, hold no, on. No, I'll, I'll be there guy. next week. <laughs> Keep it local. Thank you, Mike. Happy so New much. Year's. Good to see you guys. <laughs> Coming up next, these pictures you're about to look.